Morning. Uh, good morning from a very cold and wet Manchester Friday morning. So I've done my first week with uh, Viva Dr Gas Training Academy now. And I just wanted to give you a few thoughts on how the first week went. So you can just get a real insight into everything. So the first week, obviously, being a, a novice to gas, essentially, there's a huge, huge amount of stuff to get your head around. And you're having information thrown at you for four days, pretty much solidly. Um, but it's, it's all in a really constructive way. It's all really helpful. Um, and the guys there really, really know their stuff. And, you know, they've kind of said, look, you know, this is going to be pretty alien to you guys at the, at the minute. But it will start to make sense. And, you, you know, you've got, you've got to trust that process that these guys know what they're doing. And, you know, they're giving you all this information so you can build it and learn it and just, just keep reinforcing it over the kind of the 14, 15 weeks of the training program. So, yeah, that's all been really, really good. Next week, we're doing things like chimneys and ventilations, which is things that, you, you know, I've never really thought about before. But it's becoming more and more apparent now after having done a week of this that how critical things like ventilation are and how critical it is that the flu's working properly uh, within any kind of um, gas appliance. Um, so yeah, we're focusing on that next week. I think we're also spending a lot more time um, in the workshop next week. So we're actually getting really hands on with doing some gas tightness testing, um, purging systems, our gas meter analysis um, as well. Uh, sorry, our flu analysis as well. So yeah. Really looking forward to getting far more hands on. Now we've done a big chunk of the theory at the end of week one. Um, also, as well, I think the um, the, the team, so, well, the fellow, my fellow students, um, we're all I want to say anxious is the right word, but we're all thinking about right, what's the next step? Because now we've invested in this program, and you know we know at the end of it we've got that confidence that we'll all become you know certified, qualified gas engineers. Just what's the next step? Is it to go in employment? Is it to go out on our own? How do we get the level of experience? So I think that um, Rich has arranged for a couple of the um, previous students to come in next week and just really talk to us so, so we can learn from their experiences having now been out in the wider world to do it um, and not in that kind of protected bubble of the um, training academy anymore which again is going to be really exciting so I think it's just going to just show us the way forward um, and so we can just really get that vision in our head of you know, where we're going with this whole thing and why we're actually doing this which is great and so yeah really excited about all of that in terms of the outfit, as I said, it's freezing cold today in Manchester, very wet and rainy. Um, and so today's Friday, uh, we're going to do college Monday to Thursday. I thought, right, rather than sit at home and watch Netflix all day, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to a lot of gas engineers, a lot of plumbers that I've um, met in the past, and um, just get as much experience as possible. So um, today I'm going to be working on a lot of um, changes in TRVs and draining down a um, heating system within a property uh, that they're having issues with, uh, just supporting a uh, gas engineer stroke plumber um, doing that. Obviously, for, oh, doing it all for free, just so I can get more and more hands-on with the tools and just really see more and more out there. Obviously, it doesn't need to happen because we obviously get the portfolio plateman as part of the training academy. But I just thought, you know, I really want to invest in this and just invest as much time as possible to becoming as competent as possible as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing that. So yeah, um, what I'll do is next week, I'll give you more and more updates as we go through the course uh, as about how things are going, the types of things that we're doing, just so you can really see um, how things are progressing and move forward. Have an awesome weekend, guys. Bye-bye.